Hey all guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a micro needling with Dr. Pen in it. So before I start, just a quick disclaimer. I am already qualified uh, beautician and esthetician. So if you're not, I would recommend you before doing this at home to go through a course just to make sure that you're not going to have any complications and just anything that we don't want in general so before i start i would like you to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up this way you're helping me as a small creator to grow so let's get started i already had a shower if you are already been in the shower like half an hour ago my skin is bright and is cleansed so it's perfectly clean I'm ready when my skin is prepped so if you do this on yourself or on a client always make sure that the skin is cleansed double cleansed and you can go and use a rubbing alcohol or like surgical spirit not really uh, rubbing alcohol is the best because it doesn't leave a film and as I already said I'm going to use my Dr. Pen M8 it's wireless that makes your life a lot easier and I'm going to use Curinex Skin Booster so it comes like this I already prepped my vial so you pop this open and it has a rubber um, lid that you just remove and you put this is optional but it's quite a good thing just to measure your drops uh, it's like a dropper thing that just goes on to here so that's this um, I got this from Go Supply and the whole box so you get 5 vials which are 0.5 ml so it's quite, um, I don't know if you can see, it's quite, when I got it first and I, I thought that I'm going to get a whole vial but when I looked at it it was just half and I said to myself this is not going to be enough but it is so I'm going to do my whole face I usually micro needle this whole patch here I'm going to do my whole neck and my chest um, so these are five vials they are, the whole box cost me 97.50 pounds uh, pounds sterling uh, because I am in the UK I'm going to get started and kind of walk you through the whole process and what microneedling is I'm going to use a 36 pin needle so just to say before I start I already cleansed my hands are completely clean I'm not bothered about gloves because I'm doing it on myself so I wore them two or three times before um, before I start and not touching anything else my surface is clean in front of me so I've got prep everything that you're going to need so you're not touching other stuff and your skin or your customer's skin so I've got my vial prepped just in case I've got some sterile gauze and I like to use a bio oil or whatever oil that you want you can use that as well I quite like this on my skin okay so I'm using the 36 um, needle I like this needle because it doesn't give me um, very red skin it kind of it goes away very quick within a few hours my redness I tried 16 I tried nano needle I didn't like the nano needle but I'm going to get into that some next uh, some other time I tried 16 needle I didn't like that so much because it left my skin red for days 
and yeah oh, so i'm going to use this needle i am on 0 0.5 depth and you just hold this i'm going to sp speed up to three and you always want i'm going to start with the cheeks so on cheeks you can go a little bit deeper because you've got a fat tissue underneath it's not a bony surface so i'm going to put just a little bit of my skin booster you always want to have um something to glide onto so i'm going this way you can go back and forward forward only in one direction so just a little bit more about microneedling what microneedling is so it's called also a collagen induction it stimulates the collagen and elastin into your skin and repairs the skin barrier so it helps with fine lines and wrinkles it helps with skin elasticity and, uh, with some pigmentation it helps with acne and acne scarring with collagen so it produces collagen it helps with rosacea and stretch marks it also helps with um, hair loss and it has a lot more other great benefits uh, so why I chose I'm going to go back and further like this I'm going in one direction at the moment and then I'm going to swap and do the other uh, so why I'm doing microneedling why I'm getting it done so it helps me with so I've been struggling with acne in many years and it does helps me to control my breakouts usually they are on my chin area so I do not recommend you if you have active scar, uh, active scar, um, acne to do the if you have uh, acne on your chin and the rest of your face is okay I would say do so but don't go on the chin because you're going to spread the active uh, acne bacteria and it's going to get worse so never you cannot actually get any any treatment you cannot get a laser on active acne you cannot get microneedling or whatever on Acne, on active acne unfortunately so you need to go when your acne is not active and probably like control your breakouts with LED uh, lights and stuff like that I'm going to go one direction all over my both sides and then I'm going to switch so yes I've been suffering from acne many years I'm going to do a video on that very soon how I'm keeping my skin clear so the cure next I want to speak a little bit more about the Curinex. Uh It's a um, skin booster. It's a hybrid skin booster. So it has PDRN, which helps with skin repair, 
and it's some extracted from a salmon DNA. It has a many great benefits to your skin. It has 15 peps pep peptides, which repairs, which helps to repair the skin barrier, and it has rejuvenating um, benefits to it. It has hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid helps with the with skin moisture and it has also collagen it has a brightening and lightening uh, ingredient with i'm going to put a little bit of my bio oil because it helps me to glide on a lot better when it dries I'm going to go over with the um, with the vial with the skin booster so I'm going up and down now You can get, it's normal to get a little bit of blood, which is called pin, uh, pin bleeding, some pinpoints, but we are not, it really depends on who you're treating. Some people were ten, some people tend to bleed a lot more than the others. I don't. I get pin bleeding only if I go very very deep which I'm not doing at the moment with um, scars like acne scars or other scars I've got little tiny bit scar there and I've got scar there um, I'm going in on those two points a bit deeper and sometimes I'll go a bit deeper around here where is my acne scar but I'm not doing this today I'm not going to go on more deep than 0 0.5 I'm going in so around that here and I'm going to do my under eyes after but i'm going to do them a little shower i'm going to go back into that scar here and go a bit deeper You can see the redness. If you've been suffering from acne, that's, this is the best thing that I ever did for my skin. If you've been suffering from acne or you still do, it's worth trying because it's a lot underrated and it really helps. It helped me.
I've got um, sports car so I'm concentrating a bit more on this This dries a lot quicker, so the oil helps me glide on a lot easier. But definitely I'm going to use the whole vial. I cannot stress enough how important the hygiene doing this. Always make sure your hands are clean, you have gloves on, everything is clean, everything that you touch, your surface. I always go over with my um, alcohol, even on the bottle so anything that I will be touching and that's my scar but I'm going to go back to it after and do a little bit deep and go a bit deeper I'm going to take a drop of oil and go on the forehead. I'm going to keep the same depth, or I might go actually a bit low because it's a um, bone bony area so I am at 0 0.25 stay away from moles you do not want to go over that very important I'm going to go back on the end on my hairline these bits here I'm going to go in deeper on that on the end. I tend to do my hair on the end when I do my neck and chest so I'm just going around the mole, mole, not going on top of that. On my forehead I've got one line that has been bothering me so I'm going to concentrate just a little bit more on to that you 
you do not want to go deep on your forehead so once this has been open it has to be used and I keep mine in my refrigerator so it has to sit in a cold place you can check the packaging for proper instructions I'm going to concentrate on my wine Okay, so that's my forehead done I am at 0 0.25 and I'm going to go under my eyes and my nose just a drop very gently under the eye Do the other one. So the nose is quite uncomfortable. You just kinda want to stretch at one side. I'm going to do my toes. I didn't mention in the beginning of the video that I do not numb my paint threshold is quite good so I don't feel the need to numb and I'm not feeling anything with the micro needling even if I go deep like up to one I still don't feel anything so I do not numb that's your preference I'm going to do the tip of my nose I can feel it just a little bit on my nose but in general I do not feel any anything Okay, I'm going to stop my pen for a moment. And I'm going to go a little more. 
so that's my face done I'm going to do my neck and my chest and I'm going to speed up for that it's just the same movement same I'm using the same products but I don't want to make this video super long so I'm going to speed up quite a bit for that part Depth. I'm not going to go too deep I'm going to go back on 0 0.5 and S3 I'm bringing my speed up to a 5 just on my chest and the depth is still the same so I've got I'm not going to do it on camera but I've got stretch marks on top of my breasts and I'm going to go in at 1 they are off camera on the end I'm going to do that I'm avoiding that
so I'm going to do my breasts I'm going to go in I'm going to show you actually this so my speed is 2 and I'm going to go 0.75 usually I go 1 or up to 1 but I don't want my face to be too red because I'm going away in a few days so I'm not going in too crazy so I'm just working on the scar and keep in mind if you go in too deep your skin or your client's skin might peel off I'm not getting any bleeding this time, usually I get some pinpoints but when I go in a bit deeper. So I'm going to do my stretch marks on my hairline at 1. I'm going to do that at 1 or maybe it's not as deep onto my hairline because it's a bony area. But yeah, and I'm going to come back and put more on from this. So that's me back. You can see that I'm a lot more red. So I went in with one here and I did 0.75 on my hairline. So I just go and wash my hand again. And I've got a little bit more this. I put it on my hands. You want to do this when the skin is still open. I have just tiniest bit more left in my, my vial but I'm going to leave this to dry and then use the remaining so yes you can see the skin is just a little bit red but not too major it's going to go down again up to your skin depends on your skin or your client's skin everybody are different um, my skin usually go if I'm using this same needle it goes away um, so by next day it will go away so one thing so this needle is disposable so you just click it and this goes in the bin it's usually if I am in the salon that goes into the sharps bin the clinical waste but I do not have one at home so making sure that it's closed very well and I'm going to dispose this uh, yes so that was it the pen I'm going to rub with sodium alcohol when I put it back and I'm going to do the same thing when I'm using it next just to make sure everything nice and clean so that was it with this video if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section and give it a, give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and see you guys very soon